Side note, my Prisoner of Azkaban pajamas have done me very well this holy month. Can you even take me seriously like this? Diana Ross ain't got nothing on me. There's hair mask all over the walls. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I know that I look absolutely terrifying. I just woke up and my hair desperately needs a wash. It is day four of Ramadan and day three of Vlogmadan. So I thought that I would show you how I kind of pass the time and how I get my hair to grow as quick as it does. I'm gonna show you my all natural DIY home hair mask. This is a mask that has a lot of nutrients that are gonna help your hair grow super long. Mine grew super fast. I cut it in December and it's already like double the length. Praise the Lord. I did my haircut. Anyways, I'm gonna show you what I use with just stuff you can find in your kitchen, in your pantry, nothing too fancy. It's all natural. It's not gonna be vegan because I am gonna use an egg white, but you can definitely modify it to make it um, suit whatever your needs are. If you do live a plant-based lifestyle or if you, you are super intolerant to anything that I show, feel free to mix it up and change it. So I'll show you what I'm gonna use and then I'll show you how I apply it and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done and dusted. And without further ado, Let's get into the video. So based on what I have here, I'm actually gonna be making two hair masks. I'm gonna make one for my scalp using the apple cider vinegar and the lemon. That's gonna really help to clean out your scalp. The antibacterial properties in both are really gonna help with um, clearing it out from any fungus or dandruff or any dry flakes that are just kind of laying around. And then I'm gonna make a nourishing hair mask for the rest of my hair that's gonna promote hair growth. I'm gonna use one egg. Eggs are rich in proteins and fatty acids that fill in the keratin gaps in your hair shaft. So it's really good for preserving dry and damaged hair. I'm also gonna use an avocado, which is great for deep conditioning. And I'm gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil, which we have back here. And that's really gonna help to highlight the blood vessels that simulate hair follicles and then ultimately provide new growth. So you're gonna see my two part mask that I'm gonna be using, one for my scalp and one for the rest of my hair. So let's go ahead and start making them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna squeeze half a lemon. I might actually use a whole one, just because I have such an enormous head. But you essentially you wanna get the juice out. You can either juice it or just dry squeeze it like this. And I'm gonna let some of the pulp get in there too. The apple cider vinegar that I use is Bragg's and it has the mother. You always want to make sure it has that. That's the fermented properties that really help you to reap the benefits of apple cider vinegar. It doesn't look very appealing, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to use this for my scalp. And then you might want a new plate. I'm going to then add in extra virgin olive oil. Don't let it go to waste. The way that I mash an avocado is I actually mash it while it's still in the shell just to get it all soft. And then I put it in. I'm going to add just a little bit more of the apple cider vinegar. While it's great for the roots because it helps to clean out your scalp and has a lot of antibacterial properties, it's also really good for having your hair super shiny. So a lot of people use this as a substitute of conditioner. I'm just going to add a little bit of a splash in there. But the rest of my hair is all nice and nourished and shiny. And then finally, I'm going to use one egg. I'm not sure why this egg is a little green looking, but it is. And I'm going to crack it open. I prefer just to use the egg white. And I'll mix it in. Okay, so now you saw how I put together both of the masks. I have them here. And I'm going to show you how I apply them into this atrocious mess of my hair this morning. And okay, so as you can see, this is currently what we are working with. I'm going to first do the one for the scalp. And then I will do the one for the rest of my hair. So roll your sleeves up. Ladies, because this is gonna be a messy one. So I would highly recommend that you get a towel. I just kind of surrender to the fact that this shirt is not gonna survive this. We have the scalp mask here. I actually held onto the lemons because I'm gonna use them to help me apply it to my hair. If you were well prepared and you have a brush, or if you were well prepared and you have paintbrush things, then that'll do. But for now, I'm just going to use the lemon to get the mixture deep into my roots. I'm gonna do that by sectioning off different parts. Okay, so 
as you'll see, this the entire hair mask is now on my scalp. It kind of burns a little bit, but that's because if you do have a dry scalp like me, then you suffer from itchiness and a little bit of dandruff. And so this just really helps to clean it out. It's antibacterial. I kind of look like I have a mullet and I kind of dig it. Also, I'm definitely rocking that Kim K sleek wet look. Not opposed to it. Anyways, now I'm going to put the rest of the mask on this. And as mentioned, this is a nourishing mask that's gonna really help to kind of grow my hair out, protect what I do have, and um, just really strengthen my hair and put it in good health. Let's go ahead and finish this mask. Hello from the other side I must have called a thousand times To tell you I'm sorry For everything that I've done Now that the bathroom is cleaned, I'm going to just let the hair mask sit. As you can see, it's a really thick consistency, and so it's I've just literally let my hair tie itself up. I'm going to go ahead and edit the vlog that I was supposed to upload yesterday and just kind of let it sit for no longer than 25 minutes. I do that because anything past that like burns my scalp. It feels like it's actually coming off. Plus at some point I really start smelling like a guacamole salad because there's like avocado, olive oil, apple cider vinegar. We'll touch base after my shower when you see my hair looking all styled and pretty. Okay, so like I said, I shampooed my hair twice in the shower and then and started styling it. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much here. So I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is... Actually, let me zoom out and then maybe you can tell. Look at that long, shiny hair. I'm actually really pleased with the way that it looks. It's growing like so fast, I can't even control it. Um, but I would say that if you did this hair mask probably about once every two weeks, you would really be doing yourself a favor. As always, in spirit of Vlogmadon, I did choose an organization that I felt really went with the theme of this video. Of course, since it's all about hair. I thought, who better than to ask you guys to give a dollar or two or ten to Locks of Love. Locks of Love is an organization that provides hair pieces for children living in the US and Canada that have suffered major hair loss due to um, health conditions, chemo radiation, or alopecia. If you are interested in giving, I will put a link below. If you do like this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to put it in the comment box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so that you know every time an up a video is uploaded. All of that really just does help support my channel. And as always, remember, be grateful, be blessed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!